Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Ultimate General Gettysburg. I am your host, the Finers, and we are uh, in the year 1863, 1st of July, fighting uh, one of the, um, I think it, it was the most devastating single battle uh, in, in the um, American Civil War. Now we are playing as the Union, so we are uh, uh, now leading the troops of, of who is it? Uh, Major General George G. Meade and we have uh, elements from Cavalry Corps and uh, we are getting reinforced by John F. Reynolds's first army corps here and this is the first first encounter of, of the Union and Confederate troops in in this battle so this will be a campaign that I'm gonna do here and we'll try to defend uh, the Union as best as we can and win the war ultimately. Now let's read out this scenario here. Two Confederate brigades are ready to advance on Gettysburg. Your mission is to delay them until the Army of the Potomac arrives and occupies the, the high ground south of the town. More enemy reinforcements are expected to join the attack. You will only have a few cavalry units at your disposal, but First Corps is, all, is close to Gettysburg and will soon join your forces. Your mission is to hold as many locations as possible to delay the Confederate advance, and attempt to drive them back to Hare Ridge. McPherson Ridge is a good starting defensive position. Seminary Ridge must be held at all costs, because it protects your reinforcement route. If you lose all of the locations, you lose the Battle of Gettysburg early. Good luck, General. So, that is our mission, and we shall dive right in. We are ha have a random uh, AI difficulty, so we don't know exactly what the AI is going to do. He might be really aggressive, he might be really cautious, or something from in between. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Now, gonna pause it for a while, and let's take a look at the enemy forces. They, here they are, the third core. core and Heath, Heath's division is attacking this AP Hill's core here. He has two brigades, Davis and Archer here, and some skirmishers in support. Now we have only skirmishers in the beginning and a few videttes on our flanks. So that's what we got here. And uh, we need to hold these, <coughs> these positions here. So we can't let the rebels take them. So now that we have uh, seeing what we have against us, let's go and fight. I can actually push forward a bit. You can stay there and send our videttes on the flanks. I'll hold you there. Heat skirmishers, give the first volley, get the first volley here. Let's see if we can respond. Our artillery is in place, firing down them, but they have lots and lots more artillery there. Okay, we got the volley off, I think. Oh god, we are we are getting wrecked. Our skirmishers got wrecked there. They actually routed, so we are facing, it seems, quite aggressive enemy here. We need to put, push our skirmishers forward a bit. Our videttes here, tease in the flank of Davis. Fire at those. We need to fire at those as well. We have our general here giving us some morale bonuses. All our troops there. Our artillery is falling back. Actually you need to fall back as well. We don't want to lose too many men. If the enemy will push aggressively we, we cannot just stand there. They have much more guns pointed at us so we need to kite them a bit and really use our longer range with the skirmisher units uh, to our advantage. Actually we need to withdraw this 
with that unit here. Shot a few shots there and then run away, run away quickly. You need to fall back as well. The Archer Brigade is attacking. Can we direct some artillery fire there? Seems actually that we need to withdraw. We need to withdraw, withdraw right away because we cannot withstand an assault. We need to mount the artillery, artillery and get the hell away from there as soon as possible. Fall back, fall back, fall back. You need to come away as well. Actually, Davis broke, which is excellent. But we need to save the artillery. You need to fall back. Do not be a hero. We have to set defensive positions. And here we can see General Wadsworth's division has arrived from the south. The Iron Brigade will teach the rebels a good lesson. Yeah, so we get some reinforcement. Reinforcements coming in. But we need to scout with our videttes a bit what the enemy is doing. So we send them that way. Unfortunately, it seems that these skirmishers have routed. That's alright. We have reinforcements coming in. The Iron Brigade is here. We need to redeploy them there. We can abandon the McPherson's Ridge, it, it is not an important position to hold. Scout the ground with these units a bit. Tease the flank of Archer with these units. I think we shall fall back from here. Can we set up the artillery in time? Come on, fire into the flank of archer fall back some more our reinforcements are arriving slowly but steadily seems that heat skirmishers are going to take this position here but it's alright we can lose it can we get you into position now we need to fall back again They are really aggressive with the um, charging, as you can see. They charge very courageously into our uh, skirmishers, which of course is, is wise. They outnumber us, but unfortunately for them, our artillery got some very nice shots. Canister shot right into their ranks. And our infantry has now arrived. We will move you. Buford shall be in control of. Yeah, we lost our kill to the skirmishers now, so. We will move you there. Buford will shall, shall defend this, this position here. We need to move our cavalry safety over there. Keep harassing them with our videttes. Actually, gonna withdraw you as well. They have secured it. And they seem to be willing to hold it with the skirmishers. We cannot retake it with our cab. Which is alright. We can lose it. It's not that big of a deal. Now we have taken a good position here, in defending the uh, Lutheran Seminary, it seems. I have already forgotten the places. I think this is... Um, is it Seminary? No, I, I can't remember what's, what's the place called. Anyway, that's, that's the place we need to defend. We need to move this skirmisher unit over here. Now let's see, Wainwright's artillery brigade finally arrived, so we get some extra artillery, which is good. We need to send you scouting where the enemy is. And we try to harass the skirmishers with this unit. Actually, they are very lo low on morale, so let's let's not do that just yet. 
And you know, Double Day has a ride as well. This is very good. We move two batteries here. Actually, three. Move them there, and then we try to move. Let's see. You haven't received the position yet, so we move you up here to support the northern flank. Actually, you can come here. Now, can you scout the enemy? I mean, the more time they take, the more time we have to move in more reinforcements. So that's a good thing for us. Penders three brigades have been spotted along Chambersburg Pike. We are seriously outnumbered. Yeah, so they have now more reinforcements. As you can see, our videttes have spotted their main force. I think that was Davis's brigade. And there's even more artillery, but alas, we get more troops, I think, as well. Robinson has arrived to the field. And I think he's uh, concentrating his forces, he's waiting for the reinforcements to arrive before he is ready to take action. Now let's see, these boys are in a good position to shoot here. Yeah, they can see quite a lot. And we'll move these two brigades, the Bucktail and the Bit. Bucktail Brigade and Biddle up here to the north to reinforce the defenses here and maybe even to drive out heat from Oak Hill, I think it was. Uh, could this be the Oak Ridge then? Perhaps it was. We move the cavalry there and I think Robinson will be positioned here as a reserve. We're not gonna commit him just yet. I think we're gonna try to keep him out of sight so the enemy will not see where we have positioned our troops. Now let's move you around and try to harass the enemy from behind. Whilst our infantry advances to the, to the position over there. As you can see, I have the height map on. We can always disable it. It makes the map look a bit prettier, but I like to keep it on because you can. It's not really clear always to see where the. Can we take that artillery position? Yeah, it's not always that clear which is which hill is higher than the other. So I like to keep this on because you have these convenient numbers displayed here. Ah, they broke too much artillery, concentrating fire on our videttes. Well, that is understandable. More artillery has arrived for them, so we might be in for some tough times. But if he's going to just sit there and be content with what he has already taken, then we are going to actually push him out of that hill. So this will, this first episode will be the first uh, half of the first day of the battle so the, we will continue the next in the next one to the second half of the first day and I think that I should I will send the bucktail brigade to try and out the heat uh, heaths skirmishers away from Oak Hill Bidel will stay here behind the ridge, uh, ready to deploy, if needs be. Okay, so there's a not that much going on right now, some artillery fire. Both sides, I think, are just... I think we actually lost the cab or completely on this side, but 
sometimes that can happen. Now, let's move Bucktail Brigade forward. Pennsylvania boys, I think. If I remember correctly. I am, by the way, just pointing it out that I'm in no way an expert on, on uh, this battle or even the American Civil War, so if I say something that is, is completely not true, then forgive me. <laughs> it might happen. Move you like so. Let's see. Yeah, Oak Hill. It says there. Is there any Oak Ridge? I think is there. And uh, is there a name here? Can you see it? Can you see it? Well, there's Lutheran Seminary there, but uh, yeah, I can't remember the name of that place. We have now successfully harassed harassed the unit here. Withdrawn from with the cavalry as the Bucktail Brigade moves on one forward. We have good reserves. We move in to engage. Few casualties there. But let's see how this first volley from Bucktail Brigade goes. Some artillery supporting our attack. Got a few kills there. Very nice, very nice. In the meantime, we're also attacking to the rear with the videttes. Actually, we'll pedal a bit forward. There's a convenient stone, stone wall there. Nothing much seems to be happening, so it seems that the uh, AI seems to be very cautious indeed. Very odd. Usually, well, the AI is really good in this game. I must say, though, so it's a bit odd that we must have uh, gotten from the random selection a very uh, cautious AI, so they're not attacking for some reason. I think we should move forward a bit. Intimidate the skirmishers. Exchange a volley, and then I think a charge will drive them off that ridge. There's the volley, now we charge. Let's see here how this goes. This might end badly for us. Charging is always a, a risky business, it might go either way, but it seems they are falling back at least. We haven't bro broken them, but we have contested heal at least. We are winning. Of course we have more men there. Unfortunately our own artillery seems to be firing into our backs. Let's hold, hold here, form the line and shoot, shoot into the rebels' backs, that's right, run back to Virginia. I don't know where, where the Heath Division boys were from. Now we are getting quite a bit of artillery fire from all, all flanks. I can actually move up my own skirmishers ahead. Let's see if we can take out some of these artillery positions. And it seems that the enemy is coming. Actually, gonna retreat then. Now that the enemy is attacking, we need to be ready at our own positions. We will 
do that. Yeah, that's Archer, alright. Yeah, it seems that he was just forming his troops. Actually, move you a bit closer behind the ridge. So that hopefully we can surprise Harry Heath. If needs be. See how it goes. They're coming into range. Now they have turned red, so they're in range. And there's the first volley. Hopefully, Buckhead Brigade will be able to hold. actually already move Baxter forward. Although it seems that there's no need, so perhaps we will just hold. Hold then. Our artillery and, and our skirmishers seem to be able to effectively hold the line. I think I give you the order to fall back. Yeah. So, hopefully we can take position behind the hill so that the Bacter Brigade is not so much in range of the... Or, or in the side of the enemy artillery. And let's try to harass these, these guys from the rear. And it seems that we have discouraged AB Hill to attack our position. So it seems that perhaps they are more willing to... are willing to uh, wait for reinforcements. Yeah, they're hiding behind behind the McPherson's Ridge and just bombarding us with, a, with their artillery, which they have positioned here. They have excellent sight from that hill into our position. But meanwhile, we are bombarding the Brockenborough Brigade here. So yeah, this this was a bit more uneventful. Um, first encounter than I anticipated, but sometimes that's what happens. And hopefully, in, in later engagements we will be seeing some major, major action. But the first day should be coming into an end quite soon. You can see the bar on the top, top of the screen. It has already reached the, uh, the end there. Oh no! The Bucktails are pushed back. Now the battle has been delayed, it seems, for for some time. Let's see here if we can hold this position to the end of the battle. Hopefully we can. Actually, move you here, because you should be there. Your core is there, sir. Maybe your core. Of course, Biddle and Pucktail Brigade are also from his core, but uh, he can't be in many places. Let's try to... Okay, so, it, it was a draw. Uh, we actually took four... Uh, we lost four more men than the Confederates did, but we still held all the positions, and that's that's the major thing here. We can look at the statistics here. You can see that 
most kills was made by Archer's Brigade. They actually... So Confederates made the most kills. Let's see. Or, or they had few... Well, actually these were the two brigades that they had initially, so it, it makes sense. They were engaged, most. But then again, our artillery, Caleb's battery, did a good job there. Each the Dutch skirmishers were also very good. They almost took the hill. But, uh, yeah. So that's that, then. Um, yeah, I can see the order of the battle, it's... So on, but yeah. Anyway, that was the first engagement. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the follow-ups, the uh, next engagements in, in this very battle. But until uh, next episode, I will see you then. Goodbye!